and taped uh, the, the middle uh, with the masking tape. And then uh, I start uh, building up my page and starting with uh, number one, step one, which is cover your page with face fragments. And I remember I had at that time I had this idea of using a few photos of my grandmother, uh, which uh, the, the big one would be the focal image and the smaller ones would be um, kind of uh, faded into the background. So uh, here I am gluing it all down with a golden gel medium. And I accidentally created a kind of a transfer uh, a, a minute ago. Uh, I, I also remember that I was experimenting with transfers uh, at that time and it, I found it very hard. It didn't work for me and here accidentally I created one. But that wasn't in the planning for my page. So I just glued down the face fragments of step one, which are photos of my grandmother and use my hair dryer to just uh, dry it all. And then we go to step two, and that is add uh, thin layers of colored paint. And these were paints from Art Talent, and it was a kind of uh, a, a, a moss green, a very light green and a pink color. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have them anymore in my stash, so I can look up which color exactly they were. And uh, because I wanted to do a kind of a wash and make those uh, images fade away a bit, I used a couple of um, uh, coats of uh, that paint and I did that with a baby wipe. And so the photos, the images were kind of faded into the background. And for some color accents, I'm using the pink one here right now. Also uh, adding that with a baby wipe uh, to make, uh, to create a subtle layer of paint. Step three is stamp text or patterns over your page. And I'm using my Stazan Yet Black ink pad. Uh, a damask stamp, which I don't remember which brand it was. And that little script stamp is one by Finna Bear. And I am stamping on my page mostly around the edges uh, for a bit more interest. And this is the stamp by Finna Bear, the messy script. It's called, I believe. And then cleaning up the stamps and the step four says a journaling quote or phrase. And I decided to wait with this step because I wasn't sure where I wanted to put my quote or my phrase at that time. So I decided to leave that step for a later stage and moved on to step five, which was make marks with paint, inks or sprays. And I'm using um, a white acrylic paint and some household tools. Uh, this is a spatula you get with a glue, uh, I believe. And there was also a lid from a bottle and uh, there is a card. And um, I'm using that uh, to make some marks on my page. I believe the white acrylic paint was by Art Talents as well. Also using a brush for some splatters and then again drying it with my hair dryer. And then step six comes in at a focal image and that will be the photo of my grandmother. And I noticed that I uh, used the golden gel medium to glue everything down. Uh, I don't do that anymore. I I think this is the perfect glue for gluing down heavier materials, but for normal paper or uh, tissue paper or uh, whatever, I often use uh, the Mod Podge or uh, a thinner kind of uh, art medium or uh, even a glue stick or just, just a simple white glue. Um, but here I am gluing everything down with the golden gel medium. I'm not sure why. And to 
make a bit more marks. I'm going back to step five again, make marks with paint, inks or sprays and uh, using my little tools to make a bit more uh, marks and splatters onto my page. And then drying it again and moving on to step seven, add washi tape or strips of pattern paper. And this is a uh, paper that I printed out of some script and I teared it in little pieces and glued it down. Probably with the golden gel medium again. And I just placed it on a few spots on the, on the page. And this is a stencil I bought at Action. It was in a children's coloring book. Uh, and I thought they were very nice, so I bought them. And uh, using this for step eight, which says add color through stencil. And also um, the color that I'm using is uh, from Distress Ink. Um, I believe it's the, the it's burnt cor corduroy or, or something like that. And um, using a little foam blending tool. And then step nine, add doodles, scribbles, or zentangles. And I didn't add any doodles, I noticed, or zentangles or scribbles, but I used these uh, pencils and pens for making uh, a shadow. Uh, making a shadow around the focal image, but also um, adding some shadow about the faded, uh, around the faded images. And these are water soluble pens and pencils that that is actually a charcoal um, pencil. And I'm using a little smudging tool that you use to smudge your uh, eyeshadow, really. <laughs> and I'm using it to uh, create uh, a subtle shadow around all the images. And I'm doing the same with the faded images I see here and that is um, a, a black gel pen and a black charcoal pencil and the smudging tool. So I didn't do any doodles, scribbling or zentangles on this page. I didn't, uh, I, uh, I must have thought that it wouldn't be that nice. And step 10, finish with a white border. And I did a very subtle border with just a white uh, ink and just go around the edges with that. And then comes in step four, a journaling quote or phrase, which I uh, do at the end. And that is the word beautiful. So this is beautiful. Matilda, my grandmother.